Hi, I'm Max. I'm getting cut to their gentleman's robes for the wonderful challenge. I don't know, the war of five. If I survive this, that'll be good. Hopefully we'll give it to them. Yeah. Yeah. What we'll be doing today is a uh, fairly high skin fade, uh, sharpen up the beard, and then with the top, you just want to take some of the length off and try and get it to sit up and over onto the side here. Let's do this. What I'd like to do is start off with my uh, wall detailers. Put the beard into a point, and then I'll take it up to the temple. <laughs> and take this line all the way around. You're going to be a YouTube sensation now, man. You end up staying around this. No, I got funny enough actually. I got a uh, taxi. Yeah. No, I didn't get it. <laughs> I was part of this, I was on this group on Facebook. Mm. And it's like Dwarf and Paul Lift. Oh, okay. Yeah. I was on there, and it's been five minutes, and someone like, yeah, come. It's like two in the morning. Oh my god. So I was like, yeah, come pick me up. It's How much did that cost you? Ten quid. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> All right. That's the detailer part done. I'd like to use some talcum powder just to get all these hairs off that are stuck to him because of this insane heat and it also softens up, like, softens up the hairs and makes it easier to go over with the foils. And his foils, hold them back to front. What I like to do is at the very bottom of the neck, underneath the O-bone, just keep the tension real nice and tight. Make it a little firm. And as I work my way up the head, just slowly release the tension and it'll slowly fade out. So now that I've just gone over the O-bone, I've really released the tension now and I'm even going over at an angle so it doesn't create a line. If I kept the full wheel straight, it would have just created a line. So going at an angle, just gets rid of it. <laughs> now I'm over to my uh, wall icons, and I'm just gonna put a second line above my detailer line, about a width of thumb above it. The reason it's gonna be a width of a thumb is just so in between the two lines, I can fit in a 0.5 guard and a 0.25, and that should blend it out. Same wall icon, 0.5, and I'm just going to go underneath that one line that I just put in. I've now opened up, opened up my wall clippers up to like a 0.25. The way you can judge if it's a 0.25 is that's closed, that's open, that's 0.25, that's in between the both. Mm. Keep the skin taut. And then just flick that detailer line. And now I'm actually going to fully close my clippers, so it's now zero. And where that detail line is, I'm going to keep the skin taut again, and I'm actually going to go in at an angle. So only the, only the corner of my clippers is hitting the line, and I'm just trying to break it up. Every, uh, brown, like blue, little, little, little. 
Now I've got my um, balding clippers, my wall balding clippers, and I'm actually going to use the fine tooth side of my comb. Dig in, keep the comb square to the head, and just clip over the comb. So the way we're going to be cutting this is we're going to be going to comb it over and I'm just basically going to blend in the back and sides here and not take too much length off the fringe. This is going to be our longest point so it can sit quite far back. So what I'm going to do, stay there cameraman, I'm going to be taking it in like this. So it's shorter at the back and it gradually gets longer as it gets to the front. Is that the way I called you cameraman instead of Carlos? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a, a section straight down the middle. Comb all this out of the way, I don't need that. Straight down the middle. Pick it all up and I'll start off at the back. Sweet. So it's going short. And as I work towards the face, I'm going to gradually pull it longer and longer. What I'm then going to do is take that center, take some of the right, pull them straight up. There's my guide. Clean across. Take the center, take some of the right, pull it up. See that small point there? That's the guide. Straight across. Sweet. Now this is the left. Mind blown. Except this time, on the left, I'm going to angle it again. So I'm going to now pull this higher, meaning my fingers are now at that kind of level. So it's getting longer as it gets to the left. There's my guide. Straight across. The reason I'm making it longer on the left is so that it can reach over and sweep onto the right. It's another level shift. Next level angles. I didn't do algebra for nothing, mate. <laughs> <laughs> now that I've dried the hair off I just see around this area here, where the hair comes over and connects to the side, there's a little bit of weight there. So I'm just gonna get my uh, thinning shears, get my wide tooth comb, and just go through it. What this does is just removes a little bit more bulk. Makes it sit a little bit nicer, a little bit more flush. And we are so we're joining wax in the man. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. Do you want to pop your shades on? See if you like the length for. I'll grab the wax. Yeah. Can't believe it. Sweet man. So we just got that mid to high skin fade, and then the hair's just nicely coming over and sitting over. Nice one, bro. Yeah. Lovely. Gorgeous. <laughs> Beardbrain is a premium men's grooming company with products not only for your beard, but also your hair and body. Do yourself a favor and head over to beardbrand.com and take care of yourself. Or you can stick around and watch a few more of our awesome videos.